All right, guys, today we're going to do an amp dyno video, and we're going to use this CT Sounds T Series 1500.1 that I did in my other video, and I want to see what sort of power numbers it will produce. So I know that we've looked at this before, but I want to look at this again. I want to open this up and I want to put it on the dyno, and I want to see what kind of power it'll actually make at 14 volts to see if these claims are accurate or not. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and show you what's inside. So we're gonna open this up. Right away, you get some stickers. We have the plastic on here. We've looked at this amp before, but I'm going to look at it completely right now. We have the base knob in the package, and we have the user manual as well. So we're going to set the box and the packaging aside and we're just going to uh, focus on the amplifier. Alright, so here's the manual for the T-series of amplifiers. We're going to look through here and find the model that we have. Now I noticed in here it has this page on clipping. And it shows you what the clip signal looks like and what the clean signal is supposed to look like. That's really cool. I've actually not seen this in a, an, another amplifier. Uh, showing you what the clipping is and uh, why it's bad. Well, on this page here, it shows the power output for the T-Series amplifiers. And this is right here, the 1500 watts RMS at 14.4 volts. And it doesn't show the ohm load, but I assume the one ohm down here that it shows is going to be what we're looking at. So we're gonna look for 1500 watts RMS at one ohm clean power. Here's the base knob. It's a very high quality actually. It's all metal, has a power LED, has a very clicky knob, didn't feel loose or anything. And it has the RJ11 style jack on the back. You can see on the amp there's an aluminum finish and this nice gloss area in the middle there where the logo is and the T1500 logo on the end. So on the power side we have zero gauge input for the power and eight gauge speaker outputs as well as an eight gauge remote. Coming on over to the other side to the RCA input section We've got gain, bass boost, low pass filter, and subsonic filter. So these screws in the corner use a two and a half millimeter Allen, and I have this little screwdriver that I bought online. You wanna make sure you put these back. You don't wanna lose these screws when you do your installation. Most people in their car are going to run this amplifier off of a 4 gauge. So we're going to run this off of a 4 gauge for a realistic scenario. I can run a 0 gauge, but most people aren't going to run a 0 gauge for this amplifier, even if they had the ability to do so. Alright, so now we're going to turn on the AMM1 and the DD1. And we are going to put this in dyno mode. That's your dyno power. We're going to turn on the amplifier. Oh, you can hear it come to life. It's turned on. We have a power LED on the bass knob. Pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna start up a 40 Hertz test tone. You can see right there, it's detected 40 Hertz, 
we can see here that we're already reading some power. So we're gonna do our first run. We're gonna run this until the distortion light is on solid and we're gonna start that now. Okay, so we got about 1500 watts. Mind you, we're at 14.3 volts. All right, so I'm just gonna give it a what for, crank her all the way up. I can't really hit the clipping yet with this uh, 40 hertz input generator, but we can see as much power as we can get out of it, even though it's distorting, with it not clipping yet. So let's just crank it up. So I get 625 watts. It seems like it makes right at rated power. It's rated 1500 watts at 14.4 volts. I'm making 1500 watts at 14.2, 14.3 volts. Let me know what you guys think about this. 1500 watts, it's 1500 watts. I would really like to try out the CT 2000.1 to see if it's you know, actually 2000 watts because it's been blowing up. A lot of people like it. I've been seeing it everywhere and I could really use one. So I might look at getting a CT Sounds 2000.1 and the CT model, like the 700.1, and putting that on here and seeing what it will do as well. But remember guys, stay clean, don't clip your stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.